Hello there and welcome to Professor Harman Manyora's YouTube channel. My name is Simon Rungu and this is The Big Question. And before we go to the question, let me introduce to you our guest for today, Professor Harman Manyora. How are you doing, sir? Um, good. Okay, let's dive into today's question. What do you make of the running mate decision and what it portends to the political parties and the August 9th presidential election in general? And uh, before we go to that, uh, uh, why has this choice of deputy president been so intense? Uh, first of all, it was kept, we were kept waiting. When you keep people waiting, eh, the interest goes high, 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 the, the tension, mm -hmm. the anxiety. That's part of the reason why they have created all this interest. Secondly, uh, the, the matrix, the political matrix this time around, meant that the selection of running mate was going to be very crucial, more than ever before. Okay. It will determine how successful Raila's run will be, and how successful uh, 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 Ruto's run will be. Because in the past, it's been just a question of tribal numbers. I bring in Kalonzo, I'm sure of the Kamba votes. I bring in Ruto, I'm sure of the Kalenjin votes. Now it's more than that. It goes beyond the base. So that you bring in Gashagwa or, 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 or Madawa Karua, and you are not just targeting the Kikuyu votes. It is about the whole country now. That's why the interest is huge. I, I saw a comment on Twitter saying that uh, uh, Azimio only needed Mother Karua to bring in 30% and she seems to be bringing 95% of the votes <laughs> from the mountain. Is it game over for, for the Kenya Kwanzaa people? Uh, that's an exaggeration, but she's done perhaps what nobody else would have done. Not Raila, not Uhuru, not anybody else. I think she softened the mountain to the extent that uh, the 30% they were, they, they were looking for is no longer a difficult thing. Mm -hmm. they, I think they already bugged it. Okay. Yeah. Now, the liberation ticket, that is Raila and Mother Karua, uh, how will they better tell their story to the young people who are not there to see uh, the second liberation, uh, the fight for multipartism? How do they connect to the young people? It's a question of uh, communication strategy. You see, one, the young people are made being made to see the problems are only mm -hmm. the here and the now. So part of the communication from the Raila team is to, 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 to try and, uh, and they reach the young people to be in sync with them, but also to tell them it's only a fool who looks at today's problem as being today's problem and the cost by today. To understand today, you must look at yesterday. And then that informs tomorrow. So it's how they communicate it by looking at the short-termism in the other side, by looking at the populist promises, by looking at the, 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 the propaganda from the other side, and I tell them, look, this is, this is selling. It's a very good thing. We too can sell that way, but it will not take us anywhere. And also, by countering these other narratives, by coming up with more tangible solutions that are also not dry, it must also reach the young people. Okay. Yeah, you must touch them. So it's how you package your message. Yeah. Okay, now the young people, I'm a young person, I've associated with the other young people, and the talk from the young people is, they're talking about the economic liberation. Yes. Now, how do they, uh, as Emil Laumoja, tackle this issue? And they, it looks like it's there, it's them addressing this issue firsthand. You see, Ruto is, is presenting himself as a champion for the economic liberation. That's good, mm -hmm. we need that. But if I was in the other side, if I was on the other side, I would say, well, we need an economic revolution. We need an economic liberation. People are suffering. Yes. But then, which team is best placed to address that and to carry on this economic uh, revolution? And you give very touchy reasons why the other team cannot by going at the core of the problem. Which, for example, what economic miracles can you have until, unless you stop stealing of public funds? Okay. And who between Raila and Ruto can you trust can stop stealing of public funds? You know, it's a question of how you sell it. It's a question of campaign messaging. Yeah. Okay, now, uh, you mentioned uh, in a show with Jadel Kabirendi, your show on Saturday, you mentioned it, and you said that Rigadi will be the downfall 
for Ruto. Yes. Uh, or rather, you said that he will cause this, uh, the ship for Ruto's presidential ambition to sink. Yes. Now, should he consider changing? Yes, we, we talk about that. We, we talked about that with Jadl, it's possible. But he will be admitting, maybe he will be admitting of failure. He might stick with him. I think he should stick with him. But okay. he will cost him dearly. Already you can see the image of Rigadi as a running mate. Not to mention anything about Rigadi as a president. He's not sailing with Kenyans. He's not but, washing. But with already how Mother Karo is coming out she's, or just a few days after the, being hit, appointed. She's hit the road running like a wildebeest kid. You know, when the wildebeest are migrating and they are in speed, <laughs> the young one, you are just born and you follow your mother in the speed. That's how life should be in the, in the wild, that's Kenya's politics. Okay. And that's how mother has done. She's doing the, something, I don't know what, on the mountain. She's not necessarily getting all the votes, but she's causing a sensation. She's causing a star. But on the other hand, regarding Ashiagwa, is causing a conversation uh, along wrong things that are not useful to Ruto. And the, the issues that are coming out uh, in relation to his name are not what you'd want as a presidential candidate. Okay. Yeah. Now what people are saying uh, after Ruto appointed Rigadi Gashagwa is that he only solidified his vote. Is there some truth in that? You, you know, the, 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 that's true because Ruto already had his, had his votes on the mountain. What you need is to protect those votes. And, and Gashagwa is a warrior. He can protect those votes. But now Raila went to get a, a lioness. And a lioness is more fierce than a lion itself. You know that, eh? Especially when guarding the children. Mm -hmm. The young ones. The cubs. She's very fierce. In fact, a lioness is much more fierce than the lion itself. So Raila went for the lioness. Gashagwa is an abrasive man. Tough could protect his votes, but I don't think he's protecting the votes well enough now. Okay. With all issues that are coming up. And being, you know, when, when, you, are, when you are being judged together with Mother Karo and Yaga Shagwa, mm -hmm. people seem to, to think twice. Yeah. Okay, someone asked me, uh, uh, someone who watches us, and he asked me, uh, between regarding Gashagwa, and Mother Karua, who would you choose to go and represent Kenya internationally? Maybe I'll let you answer that question. Of course, the choice is obvious. Okay. And these are some of the blunders we are talking about. I don't know whether Ruto considered all these things. The image is very important in politics. The image of Mother Karua. And he knew that there was every indication that Raila was going to pick Mother Karua. Why didn't he think about all these questions people are raising? Uh, in an international forum, Gashagwa vis-a-vis. -vis. There's nothing wrong with Gashagwa as a man, perhaps. Mm -hmm. But we are talking about perception. Politics is about perception. Perception. Even beyond that, people are looking at President Gashagwa. Because after, who, after Ruto, there will be a president. And that president should be Gashagwa. People are looking at after Raila. Mother Karua. It does not matter when. They will be Mother Karua. So people, President Mother Wangari Karua. President Rigadi Gashagwa. You, you get it? I'm getting. I don't know why Ruto didn't see these things. Okay. And they are coming to haunt him. Okay. Yeah. Now, and the ship indeed is sinking. You're saying that uh, Ruto only solidified his votes in the mountain. Yes. Now, ha has this spoiled his vote uh, all over Kenya, apart from the mountain? You know, he was looking at the mountain. Unfortunately, mother has taken this thing beyond Mount Kenya. Okay. Because they were thinking, both sides, Raila saying, I want somebody who can guarantee me some small portion of Mount Kenya votes, 30%, the famous 30%. Mm. Root on the other hand will say, I want a, a lieutenant who can protect what I already have Mount Kenya so that I don't go below 80% okay. to win. So both the candidates were perhaps looking at Mount Kenya, but Mother Karua has taken this thing beyond Mount Kenya. It has become a national thing. International, actually. Yeah, it's about the international perceptions. It's about... People looking at Mother Karua and saying, now, this is a person you can trust. Okay? It's about the women of this country. They have taken this ball and they're running away with it. They may not vote on, on the basis of gender directly, but the gender conversation has been put at the center of this election. It was not there. So, it, yes, Central was, Mount Kenya was the focus, but now Mother Karua has 
push this thing to the international national arena. Okay, you know yeah. politics, uh, I look at it as poker, uh, yes. the card game. Yes. Now, uh, Ruto has already dropped his card. You cannot take back the cards. Yes. Now, what do you do next? What do you do? You hope your friend, your opponent will make some bad move, <laughs> some wrong move. Because if you cannot retract it, you only hope he too will throw there the wrong card. Okay. Okay. And he seemed to have dropped the right card. Raila has dropped the right card, uh, but, uh, but, but it would mean that uh, he drops a better card. Okay. If he has another one. You know, there's, in the poker, there's also a card that cancels all others. Yeah. Yes. It's called a joker. Joker and this chip. <laughs> But S in this more senior one, more advanced one. Okay. Yes. Now let's wrap up the conversation. Uh, till you have the next episode, enjoy the rest of your day.